Hello there, this is Tingnor M1 from Electro. This is a mesh static supported device with e-ink display and built-in GPS. You might ask what is mesh static? Well, in simple words, with the help of a mesh static supported device, we can communicate without the need of cellular networks, just like a walkie-talkie with text. And also we can use smartphones to exchange text message without the need of any network. This is very useful while tracking disaster management at in the remote areas. So in this video, I will show you what is mesh static and how to use it with ThingNode M1. It's an interesting topic and device. So let's get started with this video. First of all, what is mesh static? Mesh static is an open source project for off-grid text-based communication, which includes apps for Android and iOS. And a firmware is available for inexpensive radio devices like this ThingNode M1. We can use apps to exchange the messages without using cell phone service or internet. That means you can stay connected while hiking or in remote areas with no cell phone service or when the cell phone network go down. So how it works? You need a radio device called Node running the Mestatic firmware which should pair to your phone or Bluetooth. Your phone runs the Mestatic app for sending and receiving messages. The radio device has Bluetooth and LoRa communication. Phone is connected to radio device via Bluetooth. LoRa stands for long range, which handles the communication with the other Mestatic devices. While sending a message, your phone will communicate with your Mestatic radio device over Bluetooth connection. The Mestatic device will transmit that message using LoRa to reach other Mestatic users. To receive a message, it basically works on the opposite direction. Your Mestatic device receives the message from another user via the LoRa radio. Then the node sends to the message to your phone via Bluetooth connection. We can also use this to share location, get sensor readings, etc. You can also use it without the need of phone if the radio device has keyboards to send messages. The interesting part is each device can pass messages along to other devices within the radio range. That will create a mesh network, which helps to get long communication range. Suppose you have two nodes with a range of 2 km, but in the presence of an extra node, you will get 4 km range. At least two nodes needed for communication. So that's it. I think you got the idea. Now the Electro ThingNode M1 comes in this box. After opening, you will get a manual, a small antenna, a USB cable and the main board. Here is the ThingNode M1. First, I connected the small antenna. The ThingNode M1 comes with this 1.54 inch 200 by 200 resolution e-ink display which is a power efficient option. On the back side you can see the GPS which will support GPS, GLONASS, Baidu, QCSS. This is a 1200mAh battery which can run the board about 48 hours. Here you can see the controller of this board which is a Nordic NRF52840. The ThingNode M1 comes with Bluetooth 5 and LoRa SX1262 transceiver. On the bottom side, you can see a buzzer for voice alert and a Type-C port for charging and firmware operation. It has two buttons and a switch for turning on GPS. There is also a reset switch near to the USB port. Overall, this is a well-crafted device from Electro. I got ThingNode without the case, but you can buy with the case. I also recommend for that version. Now I downloaded the case 3D model from Electro webpage and sent the files to JLC for resin printing. Their resin printing is very cheap compared to others and you can choose a wide range of printing options. Also we can order it with our PCBs. Here is the printed case from JLC. Look at the quality. It's perfect. Nothing more to say about this. Nice job JLC. Then I attached the case. and now it looks very nice.
Now let's turn on the thing node by turning the switch. Now we can see the display. We can also adjust the brightness by adjusting the variable resistor. First download and install Mastatic app from Play Store or App Store. Now open the Bluetooth and pair it with the thing node M1. You will get a pairing password from ThingNode for connection. Now open the app and connect it with paired node. Now set the region. I am living in India and I selected that and click on send. That will reboot the node and we are ready to go. Here I connected another node to this phone. Now in the messaging section, we can send messages. You can see the working. You will get the messages on ThingNode also, but we can send the messages back because it doesn't have any keyboards to type. Now I turned off all the networks and still I can communicate. Here I tested it in outside and I got about 1 km range in normal areas. Now you can see the node detected the satellite and providing the location details. Even with this small antenna, it successfully captured the satellites. Perfect. Finally, if you want to update the firmware, just connect the USB cable to your PC and go to MeshTatic website. From website, select the device, select the firmware version, click flash and enter DFU mode by clicking here or double press the reset button. Now our thing node will appear as a storage device. Then download the DFU file and copy that file to the thing node. And that's it. So that's all about this awesome SD hardware from Milacro, the built-in GPS, e-ink display, large battery with charging gives extra points to thing node M1. The only missing section is the keyboard for sending messages. You can find the product link from the video description. I hope you enjoyed and learned about Mistatic and ThingNode M1 from this video. If so, please consider supporting me by liking, sharing and subscribing. That's all up to you. If you have any doubts, comment it below. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.